Hello, Sarah from South London's Lean Library here. Today I'd like to show you how to use the Manduka Twist baby carrier with a newborn baby. The Manduka Twist is a half buckle carrier, so it has a buckled waistband and then long shoulder straps that you tie. The benefit of a carrier like this is you've got the convenience of the buckle waistband, but with the tied shoulder straps, it makes it really easy to fit to every adult body going. So it doesn't matter if the two of you are very different sizes and shapes or if your baby is going to be carried by a variety of people, for example, uh, grandparents, aunts and uncles, childminder maybe. Um, it's a very easy carrier to adjust to different body shapes and sizes because you just tie it on until it fits. So what I'm going to do is hold the waistband of the carrier so the carrier is upside down with the outside against my body. Then I'm just gonna tilt the waistband in towards me. Because I'm gonna be carrying a newborn today, I'm gonna to put it really high on my body. So under my breast at the base of my rib cage. Buckle it up at the back. And pull to tighten. Now, what you've got here is a really nice big bucket seat but to make it small enough to fit my newborn, I'm just gonna take that mint coloured edge and I'm gonna roll it towards me twice. So what you've then got is a much nicer, small bucket seat for a smaller bottom. To make the body panel short enough, it's quite long, to make it short enough to fit a smaller baby, all I'm gonna do is hold the strap and pull the body panel towards me. Same on the other side, hold the strap, pull the body panel towards me and you can see that makes it much shorter for a smaller baby. So, now I need my baby. This is Jamie, Jamie is my newborn size demo doll. All I'm going to do is hold Jamie in front of me here. As newborns like to be carried, they generally have their knees up. Like, Jamie's not so keen on, <laughs> knees up having no muscle tone you know so i'm just going to nestle my baby on my chest then get hold of the carrier and bring it up between jamie's feet and spread it out over his bottom and back so i've just ended up holding the carrier and the baby then i'm going to pop the straps up onto my shoulders Now this is where the name comes from, the Manduka twist. What they want you to do now is twist the straps. It helps with how the carrier tightens kind of down here. So I'm just gonna take this outer edge that's on my shoulder and flip it over so that what was the outside edge is now nearest my neck. The great thing about the Manduka twist is you've got these um, double colored straps. So you can see one side of the strap matches the carrier when I flip it over it's darker so you know that you flipped the straps when they don't match the top edge of the carrier now I'm just going to support my baby with one hand I'm going to take my free hand through the small of my back underneath this first strap to the strap on my opposite shoulder I'm going to get the edge nearest my spine and I'm just gonna pull it across my body, like that. I can now put that strap over my arm, a bit like a tea towel, a towel, as you were, and then just pull this edge there, and that tightens the strap. And then I can just pull across the width of that strap. And if you roll your shoulder as you're doing that, it helps to kind of take the slack out of that strap as you do that. And then I can just hold it on the baby's bottom and then I can use my other hand to go for the second strap. Pull it across my body. Can lay it over my arm. Roll my shoulder to get the slack out. There we go. Once I've got both those straps, I can let go of the baby because I've got baby's weight here and then all I'm going to do is take those straps 
underneath the baby's feet, like that, and tie a double knot under baby's bottom. And that's done. So my baby is in their knees up, bum down, frog leg position that newborns like. Gather hands towards the face. Newborns always want their hands up towards their face. The carrier comes nicely to the nape of the baby's neck, but if I feel like I've got a lot to do, maybe, you know, the sun's shining, I want to put the washing on the washing line, or I need to put my breakfast bowl in the dishwasher, or, you know, whatever it is that's going on, um, I may need to bend down. If I don't want to have to hold my baby's head, I've got a little headrest here, I can just pop that up to support my baby's head while I'm doing the things that I need to do. And then once I'm, I'm just upright, not needing to bend down anymore, I can fold that down nicely so that the carrier just comes to the nape of my baby's neck. The, the TICS safety guidelines are the safety guidelines that apply to all slings and baby carriers. It doesn't matter if it's a stretchy wrap, a close caboo, the Manduka twist or a baby Bjorn or an Ergo baby, it's exactly the same safety guidelines. The, the word to remember is ticks. You want to be able to tick all of your safety boxes. The T stands for tight. Your baby should be as tightly held against you as if you're holding them in your arms. So you should be able to pop a hand on their head, do a little dip forward and not feel their body weight pull away from you at all. The I stands for in view. So baby's face should be in view at all times without moving any straps or fabric away from their face. You should just be able to see them. The C is close enough to kiss. So you should be able to kiss your baby at any point. The K is keeping baby's chin off their chest. The easiest way to confirm that baby's chin is off their chest is to do the ugly double chin manoeuvre and make sure you can see the top half of your baby's face. As long as you can see the top half of their face, their chin is off their chest. The S is supported spine. So if you pop a hand on the baby's back and lightly press, they shouldn't have extra room to kind of get closer to you, uncurl or sit up. And it's about not allowing them space in the sling that they could slump into, put their chin on their chest and close their airway. To take my baby out of the Manduka twist, I'm just going to undo my double knot that I did under baby's bottom. Then I'm going to maintain some support on the baby while I undo the straps. I can then catch those straps and tuck them into my waistband because I don't then want them to be a trip hazard if I'm going to be walking around but keeping the carrier on and I can get my baby out. There you go. The Manduka twist. Um, I think it's going to be an excellent carrier for newborn up probably until around about 12 months but it is new to the market so we'll see how it goes. If you'd like to have a closer look at the Manduka XT um, you can find it via our website southlondonslings.co.uk. It is available to hire um, and if you would like information about how the sling library is currently working you can find that via our website as well. I hope that helps and I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.